Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the pivot operator in Fabric Data Warehouse. Basically, the pivot operator rotates a table valued expression by turning the unique values from a single column in an expression into multiple columns in the output. So, I'm going to show you how to create a cross tabular report that shows the units by year, product, and for payment type that equal to PayPal. Enough of talking, let's get started. Now, based on what we can see on the screen, we have this simple select star from data table. So, the first thing I want to do is to select the three columns, the year, product, and the unit, and then we'll apply the where clause. So, I want to choose all the rows where the payment type is equal to PayPal. So, let's jump into the code. So, select, I want to select the year, product, and the units. And we'll select from data and Let's apply the where clause. So where payment type is equal to PayPal. Okay, so let's run this code and see what this is delivering for now. And there we go. So we can see we have the year, the product, and the unit. Now this is going to be like an inner query. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this inside opening parenthesis and close this parenthesis okay so i'm going to just move this down a little bit now i'm going to come to the top and use the select star from now that's going to select from what this is delivering and of course i can come outside there and apply alias so as selected columns now this is where it becomes a little bit you know tricky i'm going to use the pivot operator in here so for the pivot operator i'm just going to open open and close bracket and inside the open and close brackets now i'm going to use the sum aggregate function so sum and of course we want to call the units column close that and we want to use the four now we actually want to display the products this specific three products the speaker laptop and camera in the columns while the year is in the row so for this we're going to just put in the name of the column so product in and then we can specify inside a square bracket the list of the specific product so the first one is speaker and then put in a comma so in the game in a square bracket we want to select the laptop okay laptop and of course finally we want the camera so camera okay there we go and then we can just alias this as pvt for pivot table now let's go through the code again let me just move this a little bit down now, first, we selected the three columns, the year, the product, and the unit from the data table. And of course, we apply the where clause to filter for the rows where the payment type is equal to PayPal. And of course, we alias this as selected or derived table. Next, we applied the pivot operator. And of course, we specify the unit as the column to aggregate using the sum function and then we use the for operator from the product in the speaker, laptop, and camera. And then we alias this as PT for pivot table. So let's go ahead and run this code and let's see the results. Amazing. So we have the results. We can see the J, the speaker, the laptop, and the camera. So we can see the units. And it's going to be lovely if we can order the J in descending order so we can apply the order by clause so order by j and then we can apply descending order so select and click run and there we go so we can see we have the 2020 2019 28 2017 and so on and of course we can see that the best selling product in terms of units in 2020 is laptop with the total unit of 45,296 and of course let's talk about the 2015 in 2015 the best selling product is camera in terms of units with total units of 45,399 units sold let me apply further criteria so let's want to see the payment type that equal to paypal or credit slash debit card so i'm gonna get rid of this equal to and use the in operator so 
in and then open the bracket so i'm going to come here close the bracket and put in a comma so inside single quote we want to see uh, credit forward slash debit cards okay i think this should be correct so let's run the query and let's see the results and there we go so we can see now that we applied two criteria in the payment tag that equals to the paypal and the debit and credit cards so we can see that we have a new result and of course we can still see that in 2020 the best selling product in terms of units sold is laptop with the value of 60,197 units sold and of course in 2015 the best selling product is camera with total units sold of 61,240 so this is basically how we can use the pivot operator in fabric data warehouse i trust you enjoyed this video if you do like comment and share with your friends thank you and bye for now cheers